Today, the church honors a married couple of the first century, friends of St. Paul, who like him, made a living by making tents. Their names are Aquila and Priscilla or Prisca. Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, and there are numerous references to this holy couple in the letters of St. Paul and also in the Acts of the Apostles. At the beginning of chapter 18 of that book, we read, Paul left Athens and went to Corinth. There, he met a Jew named Aquila, who had recently come over from Italy with his wife Priscilla, because Claudius had ordered all the Jews to leave Rome. Paul went to visit them and, because he practiced the same trade, stayed with them and worked, for they were tent makers by trade. Then we read that they followed Paul to Ephesus, where they explained the Christian faith to a man named Apollos, an eloquent speaker who only knew about the baptism of John the Baptist. In Paul's letter to the Romans, he says, Greet Prisca and Aquila, my co-workers in Christ Jesus, who risked their necks for my life. Greet also the church at their house. So it seems they traveled back to Rome and the Christians there met in their house, which was a common custom before Christianity was tolerated and churches could be built. They are also mentioned in Paul's first letter to the Corinthians and in his second letter to Timothy. So there you have it, lay people who had a profession that involved working with their hands, who explained the faith to those who needed instruction, who opened their house for Christian prayer, and who risked their lives to help a fellow Christian. They found holiness in the world and in their vocation of marriage. It's too bad that they aren't more well-known.